everybody, my name is Miss Edwards. I am a New York City high school teacher and I'm going to explain to you the supports I provided for the multilingual language learners slash English language learners, MLL, ELL, in your social studies classes. In this video, I'm going to focus on the 10th grade Passport to Social Studies curriculum, Unit 3, Mini Unit A, Unresolved Global Conflict 1914 to 1945, World War One and World War II. We are looking at the day four lesson, Total War. Our focus question is, how is World War One an example of Total War? There are two objectives for this lesson. In this video, we are going to focus on the second objective, and that is to analyze World War One as a total war at multiple scales. Let's get into it. So in the student facing video, I discussed the importance of organizing paragraphs in a cohesive manner. Let's talk about these scaffolds. Support number one, modeling writing cohesive paragraphs. So it's important to teach paragraph writing with models. As we think about our students, there's a range of different proficiency levels. Some students might have an understanding of what goes into paragraph writing, and some students need additional support. Modeling paragraph writing is essential. It can be more than just writing a paragraph and having students watch. Gamifying can be one way to make teaching writing paragraph writing student-centered. Some ways that you can gamify it using Kahoot or using Nearpod's Ready to Climb. Support number two, be clear about paragraph type. So before students write their paragraphs or even their essays, they have to be clear about what type of paragraph, what type of essay they have to write to accomplish the task. Are they writing to compare contrast? Are they writing to show cause and effect? Are they trying to explain the steps leading up to a major event? This has to be clear. Support number three, organizing sentences in paragraphs. So this scaffold is a way to gamify paragraph writing. So students will be given a list of sentences that they have to organize. This is beneficial for many reasons. This gives an opportunity to review the content. It gives you, the teacher, a way of seeing how students process the content. It allows you to really step back and see, hmm, how are the students connecting the various details? This is a great way to also review the different aspects of paragraph writing. Being able to write a topic sentence is no easy feat. Writing topic sentences requires writers to be able to scale and zoom in and zoom out. It makes me think of the forest and trees analogy. The topic sentence is very general. Uh, the topic census is a forest and the supporting details are the trees. The supporting details are very specific. Well, I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.